The Fountains Roundabout. Its official name is the Northgate Roundabout. But do we call it that? Of course not. Uh, because they're trying to conserve water, because it has been so dry, their fountains are only playing quite low at the moment. But we're going to turn left here. The building on our right is one of the University Halls of Residence. It was actually originally built as a travel lodge, but it didn't work as a travel lodge, partly because there was no parking, I think. The building that looks as though it's unfinished with a flat top is our leisure centre, um, gymnasium, swimming pool and so on. And then coming up on our right with what looks like a little garden on the top of it is our new bus station. It's on the site of the Gorse Stacks. Gorse is a bush a bit like um, broom. It has a bright yellow flower, part of the pea family. Um, but when it dies back in the autumn, it becomes very dry and brittle and it makes excellent kindling, starting fires with it, which is why it was not kept in the middle of the city. Not this one, next left. Um, it was kept out here, which is where the old market was. We've, many people have heard of the Fire of London, but there, was also, there were also fires in many of our old cities. The great god Bingo on the right. <coughs> and then as we move a little further on, we will cross the canal. We will crisscross the canal in this tour around the city of Chester many times. <coughs> and on our left, we've got the Mill Hotel. It, start, it is a hotel which has been built in an old mill. And uh, as we cross the canal which is underneath us now you will then see on your left and those who are near enough look down there's a barge down there you can actually cruise on that barge and have afternoon tea lunch dinner you just book on for a special cruise and then Now this lot of buildings here are a giant roundabout. They're mainly um, offices, um, solicitors, insurance offices and so on. As we wind our way round, we'll take the next left. Straight ahead of you, those of you can see it, or to be on your left, is a building with a very curly gable to it. That was Chester's first public police station. And then as we go down this street, it is not street, road, crescent, anything. It is just Boughton, B-O-U-G-H-T-O-N. Because this was a suburb of Chester at one time, it was Boughton, and it's never got a street or anything added to it. It became quite heavily industrialised because the canal is just behind these buildings there on our left and particularly because of the Irish potato famine a lot of people came over from Ireland ended up here looking for work they worked in the various industries along the canal bank area and so it is still quite a strong Irish community along this area now as we pass this pub on your left you'll see a